Eating at a Brazilian steakhouse is a cultural experience with customs you may not be aware of. But fear not, we've got tips that'll soon have you dining like you were born in Rio. Whether you're celebrating a big occasion or you're just out with friends and family, eating at a Brazilian steakhouse is a special experience, and everybody wants to make the most of it. In regular restaurants, that generally means a round of appetizers to kick off the meal. But when you go to a churrascaria, you need a different strategy. Even though your meal likely includes an unlimited selection of mouth-watering potato and pasta salads, coleslaws, tomato and onion salads, a variety of bean salads, plus salads made with hearts of palm or beets, don't make the mistake of filling up at the salad bar before you've even gotten to all those decadent grilled meats. As the saying goes, the meat is unlimited, but your stomach is not. Now is not the time to choose dishes you can get at other places or that you eat all the time at home. Instead, pick one or two salads or sides to focus on. They should be unique flavors or contain ingredients you don't often get elsewhere. Take small portions of each and enjoy them. No going back for seconds. Save room for the meat. The churrascaria is a meat eater's paradise. From tender filet mignon to juicy sirloin, these restaurants serve steaks of every type and every temperature. Starting with beef, try a cut of meat known as picanha. Sourced from the rump of the cow, picanha is the most famous steak in Brazilian cuisine. It's usually grilled with a salty spice rub that perfectly complements its umami flavor. And it usually comes with a thin layer of fat, which renders and caramelizes in the heat of the grill, becoming melt-in-your-mouth tender. Super tender. Super tender. Picanha is super tender all the time. In addition to picanha, keep an eye out for its leaner cousin, Alcatra, usually served medium rare, Fralginha, or flank steak, and Costella, or beef ribs. Then comes the chicken. Of course, you'll see legs, thighs, wings, and breasts, but you should also watch out for small skewers of Curaçao Gafrengo, or chicken hearts, which are incredibly popular in Brazil. Chicken wrapped in bacon is another regional favorite. And not to be outdone, most churrascarias also serve a delectable selection of grilled pork ribs, pork loin, pork belly, ham, and bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin, plus grilled salmon, grilled seafood skewers, and grilled and fried shrimp. So much protein, so little time. We already warned you to be wary of the salad bar when dining in a Brazilian steakhouse, but to maximize your dining experience, and avoid all those carbs that can fill you up too early, watch out for some of these sides that might sneak their way onto your plate. Brazilian steakhouses routinely offer plain white rice or beef-flavored arroz carretiro as a side with their grilled meats. While undeniably delicious, these dishes are less unique than many of the other foods churrascaria serve. Also keep a wary eye out for polenta, fried cassava root, or mandioca frita, and the common French fry, which Brazilians call batata frita. Again, all are good, but the more you fill up on beans, rice, and other carbs, the less room you'll have for the really special dishes. The experience of eating at a Brazilian steakhouse is unlike any other, and one of the key factors to enjoying your meal is knowing and understanding how to use your table card. It's basically a traffic signal for your server. Green is go, meaning you want to be served. Servers will see the card and stop at your table as they work their way through the dining room, offering various cuts of meat fresh from the grill. As long as your card is turned to the green side, the meat continues to arrive. We want to feed people. We want to feed you. We want to try this, try that. What do you think about this? And we do that with passion. Feeling full? Flip your card over to the red side. This means stop. And that's exactly what happens. The meat stops. Get your second win, just flip the card back to green and the meat starts coming again. Simple, effective, and delicious. Nobody goes to a Brazilian steakhouse to count calories. The experience is meant to be indulgent. That said, you don't want to leave the restaurant so stuffed you go into a food coma, nor do you want to leave the steakhouse sick to your stomach from overeating. Instead of rushing, enjoy the environment. Take time during your meal to chat with the people you were dining with. Barbara, 
You look marvelous. <laughs> Savor the experience. Meals at Brazilian steakhouses aren't meant to happen quickly, so pause while eating. Take in the flavors. This not only improves your overall dining experience, but it aids in digestion and helps your body process the food, making room for more. If you want the full Brazilian steakhouse experience, order a caipirinha, the national cocktail of Brazil, crafted from a blend of cachaça, or Brazilian rum, plus lime, sugar, and ice, a caipirinha is the perfect complement to any steakhouse meal. The sweet and sour drink packs a potent flavor punch that's perfect for combining with the smoky flavors of grilled meat. Don't like lime? No problem. As with most other tropical mixed drinks, caipirinhas are generally available in a variety of flavors, including passion fruit, pineapple, or strawberry. For a slightly less sweet version of the drink, ask your bartender for a caipirosca instead. This cousin to the caipirinha is made with vodka instead of cachaça. Order a pitcher of the caipirinha or caipirosca of your choice for the table, and when everyone has their glasses raised, make like a local and offer the Brazilian toast, saúde, which translates as to your health in English. In Brazil, the bread of choice is what's known as pau de queixo, which translates to cheese bread. Pau de queixo is made with cassava flour. The naturally gluten-free pau de queixo is served in small rounds about the size of a large meatball. They're salty, chewy, pillowy soft, and usually eaten warm, straight out of the oven. While most pau de queixo is stuffed with a pocket of gooey melted parmesan, there are other varieties out there, including bread made with cheddar or mozzarella. Sometimes fresh herbs like rosemary or oregano are added to the dough for even more flavor. If you're in a steakhouse with an extensive bakery menu, look for a couple of other great Brazilian specialties worth trying. Pau de Ayo is a type of garlic bread similar to the Italian slices we all eat with pasta. Bolo de Milho is another baked favorite. This variation on cornbread is sweetened with coconut milk, giving the cornmeal a tropical sweet flavor unlike anything we typically eat here in the States. Who goes to a steakhouse and orders a stew? Millions of Brazilians, that's who. And you will too if you really want to experience the best of Brazilian cuisine. Feijoada is widely regarded as the national dish of Brazil. It is more than just a bean stew. It is a cultural rite of passage. This hearty stew is generally made with creamy black beans, a variety of diced up meats including pork ribs, pork belly, bacon, and sausage, and onions, garlic, bell peppers, and tomatoes, plus a blend of spices like bay leaves, cumin, black pepper, and salt. The stew is slow cooked for hours until all the ingredients are tender. It's then served over a bed of rice, which helps to soak up all those succulent juices. Believed to have originated in the 16th century, feijoada was created by the country's poor and enslaved. The dish is based around leftovers and scraps of the meat that others wouldn't eat that were then turned into marvelous stews. And don't think you shouldn't order feijoada just because it isn't cold out. It may be a stew, but this aromatic, robust, and comforting mixture of meat and beans is popular throughout Brazil, regardless of the season. Locals even eat it in the evening after a day at the Copacabana beach. Brazilian sausage, also known as linguiça, is an essential part of the churrasco experience. It's also a delectable treat most Americans don't often get to try. There's linguiça de porco, or pork sausage, which is generally flavored with garlic and paprika. Its spicier big brother is called linguiça calabresa, which is a mixture of pork and beef as well as chili pepper and other spices. Then there's Brazilian sausage made with chicken, linguiça de frango, and even wild boar, linguiça de javali. Linguiça defumada is another Brazilian favorite, which is smoked and can have a very distinct hickory or mesquite campfire flavor. Depending on the steakhouse, you may also get the chance to experience a number of other popular Brazilian sausages. There's chorizo, which is similar to Spanish chorizo, morcela, which is a type of blood sausage made with pork blood, rice, and spices, 
salchicha, which is similar to a hot dog or frankfurter, which comes from the south of Brazil, and toscana, which comes from the south of Brazil and is a pork sausage famous for the sweet and spicy punch that comes from a blend of garlic and fennel seeds. When you are surrounded by plate after plate of fried and grilled meat, it's tempting to want to keep things simple and stick to minimalist seasonings like salt and pepper. But don't make the mistake of skipping out on the amazing sauces there to complement all those savory, caramelized umami meat flavors. Whether they're sweet, spicy, or zesty and acidic, the sauces served in most churrascarias are another essential part of the Brazilian steakhouse experience. One must-try sauce is the house-made chimichurri. This bright green sauce is generally a mixture of parsley, garlic, olive oil, vinegar, and red pepper flakes, and adds a tangy, herbal kick to almost any meat. Pimenta malaguita, which is made from small, spicy chili peppers plus vinegar, salt, garlic, onion, and other spices, is another winner, especially for anyone who loves a bit of heat with their steak or sausage. Finally, don't forget the moyo a campagna, which is made from diced tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and cilantro. This sauce is a bit like American relish and is a great way to add a fresh and slightly acidic flavor to charred meat. It also helps to cut through the meat's smoky richness. Farofa, you say. What's that? This beloved Brazilian side dish is a thick, crumbly mixture of toasted cassava flour, spices, plus butter or oil from the various meats being cooked in the kitchen. The ingredients are mixed together until the fat is absorbed by the flour, creating a hearty, flavorful powder. To eat it, you simply sprinkle as little or as much as you want over whatever meat you are eating. It's especially tasty on feijoada, grilled fish, and picanha. The nutty flavor of the farofa is a perfect complement to the rich, savory flavor of the meat. Plus, it adds a satisfying crunch to all that tender and juicy steak, chicken, and pork. And be sure to ask your server if the restaurant offers different varieties. One version comes with bacon, onions, and herbs such as parsley, cilantro, rosemary, and sage. Delicioso. Dessert at a Brazilian steakhouse should never be overlooked. Besides providing a welcome contrast to all the rich and savory steaks and sausages you've downed. And Brazilian desserts have another thing going for them. They're unique and tend to be a must-try for any true foodie. Four of our favorites include Pujim Jalechi, which is a silky caramel flan made from milk, sugar, eggs, and condensed milk. Kinjim, which is a creamy, sticky coconut custard. Bolo Girolo, a thin sponge cake coated with guava paste, or dulce de leche, then served in rolled slices. And finally, the beautifully named Homeo I Julieta, which is essentially a layer of guava paste topped with a layer of a mild white cheese called Minas cheese, offering the ideal pairing of sweet and fruity plus salty and creamy. Too full for an entire dessert? Ask if the restaurant has any cocada. This simple candy is made with grated coconut, sugar, and milk, and provides chewy, crunchy, sweet, and nutty notes to round out any heavy meat-packed meal. Whatever you choose, we hope your trip to the Brazilian steakhouse is a meal to remember. As they say in Brazil, bom apetite, which literally translates as good appetite. <laughs>